Here's a video how to rebuild a fuel filter head on a Duramax diesel. There's three screws which are Torx bits size 20. So I just take an o-ring pick, clean out any gunk that is in the actual head of the screw because these Torx bits like to strip. So I just clean it out. As best as I can. And you take the Torx bit, put it into the socket. It's good to ram it in there and move it around to try and loosen up any crap that's in there. That one was loose, so that's probably where I was sucking air in. This is a common problem if your truck doesn't like to keep prime. So if you leave the truck for a couple days and park it and then come back to it and the truck won't start. <clears throat> Here's the part number. And in the kit, comes with installation instructions. It says remove the entire fuel filter assembly from the truck. And the primer assembly is this right there. The T20 screws on top of the housing, the sp spring loaded, as you can tell it's pressed up so it probably will shoot somewhere. Now you, it says to remove the plastic bleeder screw from the other side. So on the other side, <clears throat> there is a plastic bleeder screw. Strips all the time. Loses your seal. And that one likes to strip, so I always buy an aluminum one. And to remove the bleeder screw, most of the time the flathead screwdriver slot is stripped out. So you just take a 13 millimeter and it comes right out. There's a little slot for all the air to come through the threads, sealed with an o-ring. Won't need that anymore. So there's the new one. This way it just keeps crap from getting in. Now it says to remove the two plunger seals from the white plastic plunger. So we'll just remove the actual push button of the primer and the spring put them to the side and there's two rubber seals this one was installed with the cup facing upwards And then this one is installed with the cup facing downwards. There's the two new seals. And the bottom one goes with the cup facing down. And the top one goes with the cup facing up. Try not to use the pick on your new seals. Just use your fingernails. It's 
quite a big change compared to the old ones. Remove the large o-ring from underneath here now. So you can remove it, clean it up, put it to the side, and then this o-ring down here. Mine is quite squished, flat. The new one's round, stretchy. So we'll put that one on. Now we'll put the plunger back on. Now the plunger's back on and the seal's good. Now it wants to reinstall everything back on. So I'll just clean this up. With a little oil. I say to use diesel fuel, but it won't hurt it using oil. As long as it's clean, make sure you install your spring first. Now for some reason, the bolts that they supplied are longer than the original ones, and it doesn't sit down flush like it used to. So I'm going to take those out and put the ones that I had in there before. See now those ones suck them down all the way. Not too pleased about that. That works just fine. Now take the fuel filter off to get to the underside. Now with the fuel filter removed, put it to the side. Now we can stick the fuel filter head back in and remove the two small Torx bits underneath. Don't lose the ball, just leave it on there, put the plastic to the side, take off the red o-ring, discard it, take the medium size o-ring, which replaces the red one, put it on. And then there is a small ordering in the electrical connection where the water and fuel sensor is. So you've got to remove it without scratching up the surface. Mine is also completely flattened out. You can take that new one and install it over top of the plastic and you can go back and uh, install it back in 
It's not wanting to go on. So I'll try putting it in the hole. Now with it in the hole, let's see if it goes in. Now with the plastic and the water and fuel sensor hooked back up. <clears throat> you can go ahead clean your mating surface for your new filter. Get the new filter out. Install the new o-ring. Lubricate the o-ring and then install it onto the filter head. Don't forget to install the water and fuel sensor. Now before you put the water and fuel sensor in, you need to put the new o-ring on. Lubricate it with some diesel and install it into the bottom of the filter. I have a nice wrench. Fits on. There you go. That's how to rebuild fuel filter head on a Duramax diesel.